Today I'm going to be checking out Melody Source 2, powered by AI. The future of Melody creation. This is it here. I've just downloaded it. I've never played with it. As usual, this is my first impressions using it for the first time. Thank you to Isotonic for hooking me up with the copy. If we just have a quick scroll down here. Ooh, we got a confidence seven day money back guarantee. Uh, now a complete melody creation tool with new sound engine of nearly 100 sounds, three built-in effects so you can hear melodies straight out of the box, no need to route MIDI to other instruments. Get instant results on your chosen style with the style mode. Yada yada. Cool, cool. So it seems like something that generates melodies for you. And it looks like we can do some complex kind of key change stuff here. So let's just jump straight in and load this up. Okay, here it is here. Uh, where's the other? Okay, so we have an advanced editor down here. This will be, I imagine, when we do our complex stuff. Let's take a look at what we've got. <clears throat> so first down on the left, we can pick a key. So it has its major key and relative minor. If you're not too familiar with music theory, all major keys have a relative minor. That means C major and A minor. They have all the same notes. If you were to look at a keyboard and play a C major scale, uh, they have all the same notes as an A minor scale. Um, they just sound a little bit sadder. So this is interesting. Uh, speed, loop length, octave, groove. So imagine we can swing it up or triplet it. We've got a syncopation mode, a legato mode, and yeah, creation mode here. Imagine this is where we create our melodies. And over here, it looks like this is where it would store the melodies. And it seems like we have a bunch of options for the sounds that it creates. In the advanced editor, it looks like this, this is me just like making a prediction on what it looks like. It looks like we might be able to change the key as we go over a phrase. So let's just go ahead and click something. Um, we'll choose C major. I'm going to click on one of these boxes. And I'm going to start playing in my DAW. Okay. What happens if I click another one of these? Okay, it looks like it's created a second melody. So it seems like clicking on these squares will just kind of generate you a random melody. I'm guessing it's going to generate them based on what these are here. And they're quite um, simple controls, but they're pretty handy. So I think we can choose light, dark. Yeah, we can choose both at the same time. Let's try light. Okay, let's try dark. Let's try light and dark. Let's go ahead and change the sound. I'm just going to scroll through some of these. Okay, and I can flick through my different melodies that I've created here. So it retains the preset of sound. Okay, let's play with a few of these. Let's see if this affects melodies already created. So that's super slow. This is medium. Here's fast. So we can go up 12 octaves. Up 24. Neg negative 12. Negative 24. Let's go ahead and generate another one. I'm just going to click on X. I think this should remove all of these. Very good. Uh, let's go complex. Let's change this. Let's go for a piano, bright, upright piano. Okay, I'm going to try with playing with the groove stuff here. Let's go triplet. Okay, I'm going to quickly throw down a beat here. I'm going to go to my go-to usual thing, which is the Elgonaut Atlas plugin. If you're new to this channel, um, I do these videos almost daily. It's just whatever's on my mind, or perhaps I review some new software that's just come out like this, or just some weird experiments. So if you're into that kind of thing. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to get a new sequence going.
I'll tell you what, I'm going to trash this and we're just going to put in a kick and a snare just to get a beat going. Okay, so you can hear now in Melody Source we do have triplets happening at the moment. Let's go back to none. Let's go for another one. Let's go, uh, it looks like we can choose a style here. I'm going to go style. Okay, so we have, uh, it seems like we have a whole selection of different styles of melodies that we can create. Um, I'm not too sure how they come about these. I, I'm guessing that this is where the AI stuff comes in. Let's go for pluck bass. And also picks a bass here and looks like we can only click the center one here. Nice. Let's go swing. Let's turn off syncopation. So syncopation kind of moves notes to the right, I guess, to give it a bit more of an offbeat feeling. All right, since we're writing techno, let's do it. Okay. Let's go back and have a look at what other bass sounds we've got. So it's quite deep, let's bring it up an octave. You know what, I'm happy with that. I'm going to create another instance of Melody Source. I'm actually quite impressed with this, you know, this, um, these kind of things are... Uh, usually don't resonate with me too well, but... Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of, kind of grooving with this. So we've got another copy here, um, let's go back into style, we'll go back into our techno. Let's go for square lead, and let's click, see what happens. Click again. Let's go for synth. Let's go for swing. I'm going to try for another one. Alright, let's change the loop length. Go fast. Hey, now we're talking. Seems like we have MIDI output. Hmm, so how's this going to work in Ableton Live? Maybe if I create a MIDI track and I take the MIDI from Melody Source 2. Turn monitor to in. Mm. Not too sure how to get the MIDI coming out of this. Um, I'll save that because I'm sure that's a simple process where I need to read the manual. But anyway, let's open this back up and go back to instrument. Okay, now let's check out the advanced editor. Oh, actually, first I want to check out this harmonize. I haven't played with this yet. Nice. So that's an octave. We harmonize low, mid, and high. Okay, let's have a look at the editor here. I'm just going to solo this track. Let's open this up. So it's simple and complex. So these seem like four options that you can 
enable before generating a new melody. So let's try this. So I notice that these are all in A minor. What if I just do light? So this seems to be looping just this particular here, uh, area here. So it seems like we have four uh, kind of phrases, if you like. And of course, my loop length is on the shortest. So I imagine this will loop two. Okay, and then this will do four. Here, um, so we can mute can't really click on this we can drag it okay that's cool and we can loop and see that changes this loop length up here okay let's just try and um let's put on chord adjust and let's go let's do a chord progression what should we do we'll just go c major to um, we'll go c major to a minor uh where's a minor there we go a minor and we'll just do, um, let's do A flat major. Let's be a bit tricky. And then let's do E flat major. Uh, where's my E flat at? Okay, maybe it's because the key is stuck in here. Okay, let's choose a different one. We'll go uh g7 okay let's have a look at this let's have a listen okay let's do the same in this one um so what do we have we had a minor uh we had c major a minor a flat major and then G7 and we have to make this loop length the same let's have a listen to these together Let's change this up a bit. Let's create a new melody. I might change these around a bit. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm enjoying this. Let's go A minor. And then, and then C major. Uh, C major. And then let's do C minor. Let's, and then G7. And we'll have to change these as well. A minor. C major. C minor. G7. I'm going to create a new thing here. Let's go. I don't know if this is going to change this stuff. It does change this stuff. Okay. But that's cool. We can change it back. Seems like we can change the tuning here. Okay, I'm just going to go complex. Let's choose a different one. Let's go. Oh, we got to go pop. Look at all this stuff. Okay, a motive piano. So we're going A minor to F major. So we have to do the same in the bass. Uh, what do we choose? Pop, emotive piano. Let's go. So see, you see, that's kind of kept the same chords here. Let's 
slow it right down. another let's add one more just to finish the video so style hop emotive piano Choose a different instrument. Let's go for strings, staccato. Let's go syncopation. I like the syncopation option. Hey! Okay, just having a little explore around here before I finish. So the pitch, pitch adjust. Seems like for each phrase we can kind of go up or down. Uh, I'm assuming this will adhere to the current key which is selected. Seems like we can swap this out for a different style of rhythm. So we can change the rhythm of different phrases. Undo, revert, and save. Okay, so when I click save, it saves it as a new melody up here. Anything else? We've got reverb, delay, chorus. The MIDI stuff, which again, I don't want to fiddle around with in this video because it'll be boring, but I'm, I'm sure it's pretty easy just to I'll put the MIDI to a device. And that looks like everything. We do have some settings. We've got a user, user guide. Clear melody bank, mute after drag, and updates and rara. Well, there you go. That is Melody Source 2, my first impressions. Um, I find it very intuitive for what it is. The melodies it created sounded pretty cool to me. They sounded pretty um, good rather than just kind of a random note generator. Sounds like there's a bit of work gone into, uh, assuming they have a big database of melodies and it kind of figures out what's going to be good and takes combinations of them don't quote me on that but <clears throat> that's just kind of the feeling I've got so if you are not terribly musically theoretically inclined um, but you do want to produce some melodies and um, you know some basic stuff about chord structures here I highly recommend giving this a whirl and um, I got this from Isotonic I highly recommend you guys grab it from them because they're very very awesome people and they're the ones who provided me with this so go check it out